Hello everybody and welcome to episode 129 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, I want to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last episode. Though it might not have performed as well as some more recent videos, it did still get some questions and some likes and views and all that jazz, so I'm still extremely grateful. Stay beautiful. Anyways, now let's get into the question, starting with Nerdle. I don't know if I said your name. I apologize if I said it wrong. Would you rather a Star Wars Captain Rex mech or a Cody mech to come up? Honestly, I hate the idea of them ever having either. Also, why didn't you include Commander? It's Commander Cody. Get it right. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. But I think, honestly, a Captain Rex would probably be cooler for two reasons. And that's one, because, well, Captain Rex is awesome. And so it would just be fun to have one. And also it would be really fun because then if they use the same minifigure from the Venator and the Micro Fighter, you would have people crying and complaining all over again about a minifigure, but this time from a mech. And that would probably make them even more bitter because you could argue Micro Fighters are a little bit for kids, but mechs are definitely for kids. So they'd be like, why is this exclusive minifigure in a kid's set? It would be funny to watch the world burn again. I'm going to go with a Captain Rex just mostly for that reason. <laughs> Next question is from Proj Forever. What is your favorite non-Lego Star Wars set ASA? Honestly, I'm not really a huge fan outside of Lego Star Wars. Like, obviously, I love Lego. Don't get me wrong. But I always, always, always will go for Lego Star Wars. To answer this question, I am going to go with the Lego Imperial Flagship. And I actually owned that set when I was a kid. I got it for Christmas, and it was so fun. I remember building it all day on Christmas. So that set just holds, like, a little bit dear to me. When I see it, I'm like, oh, I used to own that and it's fantastic and still beautiful to this day so i think i'll go with that one it's just it's a really cool and beautiful ship it was perfect perfect everything down to the last minute details Next question is from Mayo Husco. ASA, in memory of James Earl Jones, RIP, yes, very sad. What's your favorite set with Darth Vader in it? Mine's is Betrayal of Cloud City Potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm going to go with the Best Spin Duel, set number 75294. It is just an absolutely beautiful little tiny set. 40 years of Empire Strikes Back kind of like celebration set. Like It's just, it's so cool. It's really fun to see. I'm very thankful to actually own that set and... I love it. No, uh -oh. The fuck you mean? Nah, uh. And the last question is from Clumpus ASA. Let's see if I can word this better. What Star Wars movie has the best sets and what Star Wars movie has the worst sets? And why also do you do ASA every two weeks? Potatoes. Thank you for all the beautiful potatoes. I'm going to answer the second part first. Why do I do ASA every two weeks? Simple answer. It's just to help avoid burnout. If I did ASA every single week, I guarantee you one, I would stop getting questions like in entirely or I would get one question a video and two it just makes it easier on me because it doesn't take like 10 20 hours to make these videos but it does take some time I gotta record them and then I gotta edit them I gotta put the pictures on screen so people know what I'm talking about and then I gotta upload it to YouTube which you know that takes a while because you gotta add the thumbnail tags title description hashtags links you know all the beautiful stuff I just decided that I'm going to do it every other week. Now, if I ever get to the point where it's like I'm getting a couple hundred questions a video, maybe then I'll consider doing it weekly. But right now, it's just honestly better to do it every other week. Now, to answer the first part of your question, what Star Wars movie do I think has the best and worst sets? I definitely think Empire Strikes Back has the best sets, mostly because of the UCS sets. Like, you can't tell me that the UCS Slave 1 or AT-AT are absolutely fantastic and just beautiful beautiful, gorgeous, awesome, epic, amazing sets. Like, I think those are honestly my two favorite LEGO Star Wars sets ever. I finally decided what I'm going to start answering as my favorite LEGO Star Wars set is the UCS ATAT. -AT. That is just a beautiful and awesome set. Yes. I honestly don't think that any movie technically has bad sets. I mean, every now and again, Lego will release bad sets, usually junior sets. Pretty much every movie has good sets. It's just, in my opinion, Episode 5 has the best, but that's also because Lego is very hell-bent on making recognizable sets like TIE Fighters and X-Wings, which, you guessed it, is from the original trilogy. So hopefully that all answered your question and made sense. It doesn't 
You're weird. That's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to ask a question and watch the video. If you liked the video, leave a like. That would help out a lot. Consider subscribing if you're not, you know. I had to do that stuff. I feel like when I say all that crap, it actually helps, like, the video perform better. So, I, I know no one likes to hear it, but it's just what YouTubers have to do, right? Anyways, the last thing I'm going to say is if you're interested in checking out some of my LEGO Star Wars shorts, I will be doing some more again soon. But right now, just go check out, like, the playlist or something from some old videos. I still have quite a good bit of shorts I've done this year so far. So, if you're interested, you know, check them out. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!